Alright guys, so in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 tips for you to bulk up. Well not really tips, but secrets, or my secrets I've kind of discovered in my fitness journey on how to bulk up and how to skyrocket your fitness journey. And these tips aren't just going to be eat big, train harder, and stuff like that. They're going to be 5 kind of like little things just to help you and stuff like that that some people kind of neglect on their way to building muscle and gaining weight over time. But guys, as always, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video for more daily fitness content just like this one. If it's workout videos, fitness videos just like this, I have it all covered for you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button for more daily fitness content because I'm sure you won't regret it. And if any of you guys are wondering, the next Skinny Kid Bulking Up episode will be coming in a video after this one. So stay tuned for that. Sorry for all the delay on that, but it is coming soon. I just might as well, might as well put it out there for you guys so you know it's coming. But, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the number one tip I have for you guys is to make sure you're sleeping enough. Now sleep is so important for the body, it's so important mentally and also physically. I'm not saying to sleep 12 hours a day, because that's probably that's half, like, 4 hours of your day wasted pretty much. Unless you want to sleep more. But I don't recommend sleeping in the whole day. But, at least, I would say at least 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. And sleep is so important because, the, in my opinion, the most important aspect of training is not actually when you're in the gym, but the recovery after it. Because when you're in the gym, you're breaking down your muscles. You're not actually making your muscles bigger. So that's when after the gym, you're going to be getting your calories in, you're going to be getting your protein in. And of course, you're going to be recovering. That means stretching and sleep. I'll cover stretching soon, but we're focusing on sleep right now. So the benefits of sleep are, I have some notes here. So boosting your immune system. Uh, it can actually strengthen your heart as well, which is a very important aspect of your body, of course. Um, it can increase exercise performance, which, of course, is very important to building muscle and stuff like that. You don't want to go into the gym and have a bad workout because it's probably half the gains made. And say six months, you could be, say six months of training, right? And you train half, like half, with half the intensity because you haven't get, uh, get enough sleep. Sorry, I'm talking a bit too fast. But say, yeah, say you have six months of training, you don't get much sleep in, you could have that, you could have that like 12 month result if you just get your sleep and stuff like that. Now some other things here is it improves memory. Now I know this isn't a fitness thing, but all my channel is about is health and fitness. So mentally and stuff like that, it's not just about the body, it's also about the mind. And the last kind of thing I have about sleep is it improves your mood. Now mood is very important not just in the fitness industry of things, but also what you do in your day-to-day -day life. You always want to be happy, you always want to be motivated and stuff like that. Of course, you're not going to feel good all the time, and I'm not saying sleep's going to be your cure for the rest of your life, but it will boost your mood. It's uh, like when I sleep more, I feel better. Not when I sleep 12 hours a day and sleep until 1 p.m., which I don't do that, but if I did do that, I would feel like shit. I wouldn't feel good, but, and say I went to bed at 1 o'clock and woke up at 4 o'clock, I would feel like crap. If I went to bed at 9 o'clock and woke up at 5 o'clock, I'd feel re really good. See so you guys, make sure you're getting your sleep. That's my probably number one tip. Now the number two tip I have for you all, I kind of sat on this before, but it is to stretch after your workouts or like one to do one to two days after you work out. So say Monday's leg day, right? And you're really tight Tuesday morning. Make sure you get up at the end of the day or something like that. Make sure you get some stretching in. I feel as if on my leg days, I get really tight in the hamstrings and the calves and the quads or pretty much every single muscle. So I always make sure to train them. And that was one thing I kind of neglected when I first started training was not stretching. And I, I was wondering why are my muscles so sore? But they weren't really sore, they were tight. But the muscle soreness is going to come. It's going to be tightness and soreness. But to eliminate the tightness and, pro and probably eliminate most of the soreness as well, make sure you guys are stretching after your workouts. And if not after your workouts, make sure you're stretching one to, do, one to two days after your workouts. But in my opinion, stretching after the workouts is more beneficial in the long run. This can be yoga, this can be foam rolling, just static stretching. Anything that kind of just recovers the muscles in that kind of way. It doesn't have to be like an hour session, it could just be a 5 to 10 minute session. Like after my workouts, I only stretch for about 5 to 10 minutes. But of course on my rest days, I do have probably a 30 minute to an hour stretch per day. Just to boost that recovery even more. Because if your muscles are tight all the time, they're just not going to have that kind of room to recover and stuff like that. They're not going to have amount of recovery that your muscles are going to have when they're not, don't get my words mixed up, but they're not going to be able to recover as fast and as better 
as when your muscles are not tight, if you get what I'm saying by that. But yeah, make sure you're stretching after your workouts and if not after, one to two days. Don't leave it after that. I wouldn't recommend stretching one time a week. Make sure you're stretching probably three to four times a week. That's probably the minimum, unless you are doing one hour sessions twice a week, which is pretty, it's still, still good. That's probably like the minimum, I'd say. All right guys, so number three, or well, number third tip I have for you all is kind of a fun kind of thing, but it is make sure you're having your cheat meals at least one to two times a week. Now, some of you might be saying, why the hell is this a secret? How the hell will cheat meals and ice cream and donuts and pizza make me build muscle more? Well, if you're very good at getting your calories in, I probably don't recommend this even, well, I do recommend it at least once a week because it makes you happy, you feed the heart what it wants. Of course, it's not the best for you, but a cheat meal can be very beneficial. But the most target audience here is the people who can't really get their calories in. Say they're really skinny and they have a very fast meta metabolism and you get really full and you can't get your calories in and that's why you can't gain muscle. That's why I recommend eating cheat meals one to two times a week, even three times a week. Even dirty bulking if you're very, very underweight. I don't recommend the dirty bulk, but if you are very underweight, I kind of do recommend it because that's, if you're, if you're underweight to the medical reason and you, really, and you really need to gain some weight in a short amount of time, that's when I recommend the dirty bulk. But just for my average guys out there, just trying to build muscle and they kind of struggle to get their calories in, I do recommend having cheat meals at least one to two times a week. This will make sure you get your calories in. That will make sure you're in a cal calorie surplus, which of course, that's the way how you build muscle. So say you, say you want to consume about 3,000 calories a day, right? And your average or maintenance level is 2,700, 2,500. You want to be going at least 200 to 500 calories over if you really want to gain weight. Now, if you if you eat 4,000 calories a day and you're expected to, to eat 2,500 calories a day, that's probably when you're going to gain muscle, but also you're going to gain fat along the way as well. So you're going to gain weight, but you're not always, or 100% of the time, going to gain muscle in that period. So that's why I recommend eating 3,000 calories a day or something like that. Really depends on how tall, how, how much you weigh at the moment and stuff like that. But yeah guys, if you do struggle to get your calories in, make sure have a cheat meal one to two times a week. And that might be a bowl of ice cream, a pizza for dinner, a chocolate milkshake or anything like that. It doesn't have to be too big, but make sure it's high calorie so you can get your calories in and build that muscle over time. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right guys, so the third tip I have for you all isn't as interesting as the last one with the cheat meal, but it is to use workouts with a variety. So that might mean volume or intensity. If you're trying to build muscle, I don't just recommend sticking with volume or sticking with intensity. So every workout, sticking with 30 minute workouts. There's nothing wrong with that, but I do recommend getting a variety, not just for the physical, but for the mental. So you get, don't get burned out and you don't get bored. That was one of my problems. I was doing the same workouts every single time and I was getting a bit burnt out. So now I mix it up. Some days I might really train intensity, it might be 30 to 45 minutes. One day I might really train volume, which might be an hour to one hour and 30 minutes. And some days I might go into the park, get a calisthenics workout in, which might only take 45 minutes to an hour. Now, if you're really trying to, trying to change strength and not more so size, I do recommend volume or longer workouts. So say you're really high on the deadlift, squat and bench, and they're like your main things and you really want to get strong at them. I do recommend filling most of your workouts with them and training strength, longer rest times and stuff like that. But if you are trying to bodybuild and trying to gain size instead of strength, of course you're gonna gain strength anyway. But you're not trying to go hardcore on the strength part of things, I do recommend keeping your rest to a minimum and lowering your intensity and keeping your workout a bit shorter. So say you wanna gain, gain size and bodybuild, you might go six exercises of three sets that workout might only take 30 to 45 minutes with a warm up, maybe 15 minutes on top. So it might only take an hour, which is probably the perfect time for workouts. Personally, I sometimes mix it up. Sometimes I work out for an hour to 30, an hour and 30 minutes, and some days I only work out for half an hour. It's really what I feel like. And I've got to that point where I'm not too strict on what I train and stuff like that. Whatever makes me happy, I do. I'm happy with my physique. I don't really care if, I, if I'm the strongest person in town. I really don't give two craps about it. I just care about being healthy and being myself. So yeah, whatever makes me happy, I do. Whatever workouts make you happy, make sure you're doing. But of course, if you're trying to train strength, I do recommend volume. And if you're trying to train bodybuilding and size, I do recommend intensity. But mix them up. If you want to go for size and strength, mix them up. Go with a workout with volume, go with one with intensity, or even do both at the same time. It's really up to you. All right, so the fifth tip might sound out of the blue. It's not about fitness or anything like that, but it is get outside and do what you love doing. Now, these aren't just tips, eating bigger, or eating more, I should say. 
training bigger and stuff like that. These, these are secrets to building muscle and staying healthy. So my last tip is just get outside and do what you love doing. If you love to play basketball, go outside and play basketball. This is gonna give you the motivation to keep doing what you're doing because if you fill your day with things you don't really like, I'm not saying getting outside your comfort zone is bad, that is very good, you sh everyone should be doing it, but you got, you got to enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy what you do, you're gonna get burnt out. I enjoy making videos like this, I love them. Of course, I'd probably rather be sitting on the couch playing Xbox or something like that, because I do enjoy that. But what value is that gonna give to me? I'm not gonna feel good after it, I'm gonna feel great after I do this video. Do what you love doing. If you love taking your dog for a walk, make sure to get outside at least once per day. Get outside. If you love drawing, if you love art, make sure you do that. Even if you love video games and that makes you happy, do that. Make sure you're not missing your workout though, because that is very important. But do what you love doing. This will give you the motivation to go to the gym and stuff like that. If you com if you completely eliminate everything you love just for fitness, it's not going to work out. It's just not going to. If you love this certain food and it's not like the healthiest for you, of course, don't eat it every single day. But Eat it three times a week. Eat it three, four times a week. Personally, I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is a good is good for you. It's not like the healthiest, healthiest thing in the world, but the, the peanut butter I have is just roasted peanuts. And I love peanut butter. I have that like two times a day. Not just two little scoops. I mean like two meals of it. Most of the time. I'm not like, I don't eat it every single day. But you get, what I, you get what I'm saying. If you love something that much, and it might not be a food, it might be a hobby, make sure you're doing it. It's gonna, it's gonna keep you happy and, and stuff like that. You don't want to get burnt out. Fitness is all about fun and fitness is a reward. Exercising is a reward. Some people don't get to exercise. So don't take it for granted. Make sure you're grateful of everything and do what you love doing. But guys, I'm going to end the video off here. Now, if you guys are interested in skyrocketing your fitness journey and taking your fitness journey to the next level, make sure to click the first link in the description below. That will take you to my website where you have three options. You can either access the custom keto diet which is probably my number one favorite diet for building muscle and losing weight, of course, because it has lots of protein, lots of good stuff. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, there is a second tab where I can create a personalized workout for you. Now it is $7 Australian, if you, if you Australians are watching this. Now, I would have put it lower, the cost, but I can't. Father will not let me. I probably would have put it at $3 or something like that because I wanna give value to my fans but they don't let me put it down below $5. Really annoying, but if you guys are interested, make sure to click the first link in the description below. And if you guys wanna follow my TikTok and my Instagram, that is the second and third links in the description. I just hit 20K on TikTok, so I'm all grateful for you guys who do follow me over there. It's such a pleasure and stuff like that. I would've never thought I would've hit that in such a short amount of time. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure you do what you love, because that's probably my one, one, number one takeaway from this video. Make sure you're doing what you love, do what you enjoy, do what makes you happy. But guys, I'm out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And Skin Kid Bulking Up coming Monday or Tuesday, wherever you live. So stay tuned for that. But guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.